All right, here's a video using the Flash Print software that is a default software to use for your Flash Forge Finder to print with. Uh, this is one of numerous slicing uh, applications you could use to take an STL file from Tinkercad or Fusion 360 and get ready to uh, print on your 3D printer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and load a file in Flash Print. I'm going to go ahead and load a file uh, that we have done in class, which is our cookie cutter design. So I'm going to go ahead and load that file right in here. I'm going to take this file and I'm going to go ahead and using the move button right here, center this file right on our work plane. And that actually maximizes the workspace. There are lots of other options here, but I think quickly we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and print so we can see the basic functions of the printer and how to get that set up on uh, a file to print on a 3D printer. So if I click the print button, there are lots of different uh, uh, selections here. Uh, most of the standard ones will be fine for us right now. Uh, we are printing with our FlashForge Finder, PLA plastic filament that we are using. Supports and Raft, we will talk a little bit more in detail. Uh, but uh, if you enable supports, uh, that is something that can be a nice default for you for any print. Uh, our cookie cutter design is not going to need any supports to print, uh, but we will talk a little bit more detail about what supports are. A raft uh, is a layer of plastic uh, that will get put down on the work plane and our um, part will be printed on top of that if needed. Uh, because our part is pretty flat and uh, pretty small, a uh, raft is not going to be needed for us. So we're going to go ahead and disable that and save plastic uh, in this instance. Now, I have found that standard is a really uh, nice quality print uh, using the Flash Forge Finder. Uh, you could even go to low, and what that would be is just a little quicker print. Uh, right now, you're going to find out in, in, in about uh, you know 10 seconds that it's going to be a pretty quick print to begin with. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. When I do that, it's going to go ahead and uh, ask me to save my design onto either a flash drive or your computer to email. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick my USB drive. I've actually already done this once, but I'll go ahead and do it again. I'm gonna hit save and hit yes to replace that. Once I have done that, uh, it tells you a quick estimation of the print time and how much material you will use. That's a, a really nice thing before you go to print something so you know how long it's going to print. Uh, once you've done that, uh, the print file is on your flash drive. You will take your flash drive to the printer itself, plug it in, and essentially hit print. And 20 minutes later, we should have a cookie cutter design. That is printing with flash prints. We will talk a little bit more about some of the other options here in a future flash print video. Thank you.